back to Talking Planning and today you join me on the G-Link tram on the Gold Coast. The G-Link tram service currently runs between Helensvale Station and Broad Beach South, connecting between the train and key destinations such as Griffith University, Gold Coast University Hospital, Southport, Surface Paradise and Broad Beach. The Helensvale extension was completed ahead of schedule in late 2017 as the line originally terminated at the Gold Coast Uni Hospital. This was to ensure that the line could deal with increased public transport demand during the Commonwealth Games. Welcome aboard. This tram is travelling to Broad Beach South, stopping at all stations. Please remember to touch your go card to a card reader on the station platform at the beginning and end of each trip. G-Link uses the large Bombardier Flexity 2 tram with seven articulated sections and a length of 43 and a half metres. These are some seriously large trams with a capacity of up to 309 passengers and an empty weight of 60 tonnes. The doors are push button operated to ensure that heating and air conditioning stays inside, which is unusual compared to many other cities. Handily, there are reminder buttons on the doors to let people know how they work and in several languages as well. Queensland Rail also have push button doors on many of their trains. Join me now at Narang Street where I just got off one tram and I'm just waiting for another one. It was getting a little bit crowded and I thought I'd rather just yeah, get out of the way, get a bit of fresh air before I keep travelling on. But the Gold Coast Tram Network is always a nice change because we don't do trams a lot in South East Queensland since we got rid of the Brisbane trams in the late 1960s. So it's pretty cool. Trams have important features common to trains and trams, including internal destination screens, a mix of regular and priority seating and emergency help points. The displays are LCD screens rather than dot matrixes, which allow images and attractive graphics to be displayed. These are complemented by audio announcements. The Gold Coast 18 Flexity 2 trams also have a few neat touches, including these rather unique surfboard holders, which I can't say I've ever seen on any other train or tram. I guess it fits well with the theme of the city. Trams run at a good frequency, with weekday services every 7.5 minutes during peak periods between 7am and 7pm, and every 10 minutes over on the weekend. Services run every 15 minutes between 5 and 7 in the morning and between 7 p.m. and midnight. Overnight, you'll find night buses running between Broad Beach and the Gold Coast University Hospital during the week and with trams running the service between Friday and Saturday nights. There are no night services that travel past the Uni Hospital and on to Helensvale. A third stage of the light rail between Broad Beach South and Burley Heads is currently under consideration. If constructed, this would likely result in the truncation of the 700 and 777 buses which currently operate along the corridor and would directly connect some of the Gold Coast's most popular beaches and attractions without any modal change. All trams terminate at Broad Beach South where you'll find Onward Bus Connections and Pacific Fair Shopping Centre just a short walk away. I'm at Broad Beach where all the trams terminate and I just wanted to show you um, a little bit of footage that I just took before whilst outside the tram window. 
I saw something really cool. The first of the next generation ticketing machines are being installed at select stations. Don't know too much else, but just thought I'd better um, let you know and over time I'll do a quick review on those as well. Once again, thanks for joining me on Talking Planning and I'll see you again soon.